านเอาบ้าเด็กเอาไปคูดูนุ่มไปเอาไปสเตลัยเออ so it's Saturday yay it's weekend I hope everyone's enjoying the weekend and um things are going great for me um the move the moving Um, home thing is kind of slow process because we're still waiting for confirmation from the official people. Anyway, and stuff like that. So, um, by the by mid October, we should know everything. So it should take within six weeks for everything to be confirmed, paperwork signed, and done. Yeah. <laughs> um. Also. As most of you know, or some of you may know, I had my tongue pierced about a week yesterday, on Friday, and um, it's healed pretty quickly and pretty nicely. Um, I've had a few issues, a few issues that I'm not used to, I guess, coming from my tongue. So you know, it's a, it's a whole new experience for me. And yeah. Uh -huh. Still a little swollen, but nothing major. Something I can get over now. Um, so today's vlog is all about h how you tell someone to that you like them. Well, if you like them and uh, stuff like that, you really should tell them face to face. So, for instance, um, just text them. If you don't live locally, text them and say. Hey, I want to hang out. When's good for you? And when they text back saying when it's all good, arrange the day and stuff like that. Arrange the time and make it like four days away from the time you set it because then it gives you time to plan what you want to do. You gotta have, you gotta be outgoing. You gotta be fun. And it's gotta be relaxing. So you really don't want to be boring yourself. Out because then it'll make you all tense and stuff because you're you wanting to talk to them about how you feel and in that circumstances you do not want to be feeling all self-conscious about what you and that person is doing or if you're having fun or worry about if they're having fun so you need to keep it short sweet and easy and nice and relaxing uh, I suggest a movie um, A walk to somewhere nice and you know um, if you live near a beach take them to the beach and it's nice and sunny you know go to the beach have a, have some food um, have a couple of drinks at a bar if you like drinking it doesn't have to be necessarily alcohol but you know drinking in, in the case of you know a glass of coke or you know whatever you enjoy the most and whatever they enjoy what's that Once you were relaxed around them, I mean, you know that person's relaxed around you because you, you know, you should have a basic friendship found foundation with them. So you get talking and you don't bring the subject up like immediately. You just say, "Look, I, I've got some something to tell you," um, and then you start from there. And then um, you explain it well, but take your time. Think about what you're going to say to that person. So, if you've got a drink by you, treat it like an interview. Drink while you're thinking, so it gives you time to think about what you've got. There's a second way of doing it. It's a less embarrassing way, but it's also the less personal way of doing it, I guess. Because um, I don't know, it can make it awkward for when you next meet. At least when you're face to face, you can sort the feelings and whatever else goes on between you there and then online. If you're going to do it online, or you're going to do it type or letter or whatever text um, there could be some awkwardness next time you meet up so you really want to be able to um, do it face to face but if you want to do it by text or Facebook, Twitter, email, Amazon, w Tumblr, whatever you know um, just be sure that if they like you back then fine but if they don't and you want to meet and you're going to meet up soon after that Just bear in mind it might be a little bit awkward. Um, that's all I got from now and it's over and out from me. So good day and have a great Saturday. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Bye!